Welcome back to Oracle of Seasons. We are moving on to part 23 in the ancient temple, or ruins, rather. Going backwards through this room, there are things trying to chase us down. Alright, so ancient ruins as a whole is not actually all that terrible of a dungeon, but it is lengthy. Very lengthy. And I don't really like the boss. It's a lengthy dungeon, but it's also not... It's not really that mazy. The, the, t the end of the dungeon is at the very top of this tower that you're climbing, so at least you know vaguely where you're supposed to go. And if your progress is being blocked, it's probably because you haven't found the way up yet. Yeah... I feel like Ancient Ruins is is uh, uh, Season's attempt at Jabu Jabu's belly. Um, no, I disagree because this this game this level doesn't have a it doesn't have a gimmick where you have to keep going back to the same place to you, you, you know Jabu Jabu has the switch gimmick where you have to keep changing the water level. This dungeon doesn't have anything like that. True. It has lots of pits though. Yes, lots of pits and lots of Gyptos. I mean, I've, I normally have a pretty good time going through this dungeon. It's not it's not an easy dungeon, but it's more it's more fun than the Explorer's Crypt, I'll put it that. I fucking hate the Explorer's Crypt. Uh, that's... is that seven? Yeah, it's the next one. Okay. Well, Seven's entire problem is that it's in, it's entirely based on you getting the uh, fucking rocks cape. Yes. Which which sucks. And honestly, there's only a couple of rooms in in uh, the Explorer's Crypt where uh, where the rocks cape is honestly all that terrible. Now, once again, I must say it's not it's not the rocks cape itself that's terrible. It's the challenges that they put in your way to test the rocks cape's ability that makes it terrible. Oh, I've guaranteed that I'm going to find Ma Maple when I leave the dungeon. Huzzah. I think the kill count that you need for Maple is 30. I'm not sure. It's probably 50. I wonder if Maple is just watching you and keeping track of how many creatures you've been killing. No. <laughs> Syrup might be, but Maple is not. <laughs> Bring me the tail of another snake. Specifically this snake. No, not that snake, this snake. <laughs> so, let's see, what else has been happening recently? <laughs> I mean, besides going through a uh, little gauntlet of blocks? <laughs> yeah, but I don't think a lot of people have actually been doing that recently. Life is a gauntlet of blocks. We're all hamsters in a maze. Well, we are, but, you know, there's... There's different interpretations of that that are much more pleasant to think about. Some people have cages. Other people have fences. <laughs> I have jump cut. Jump cut in. Let's go open this door that we left behind. Well, I didn't have the small key for it, and now I do. Let's go open this door that we actually can open now. There we go. Fuck! Actually, Beemos aren't really all that big of a problem in this game. It's interesting because in, uh, in Ages, I actually had quite a few problems uh, dealing with Beemos, but not in Seasons, oddly enough. Actually, While there are Beemos in, like, almost every dungeon, they're usually not that big of a problem. I think the bit... Bemos just making the oh okay. Uh, yeah, you have to use the Pegasus seats when you get there. Wow, those floors came back fast. Well, yes, because it's just it's just a uh, it's just a room gimmick. Yes. I forget when I upgraded the seat satchel. You did that a while ago. I know I did that a super long time ago. But it's very a good it's a very good idea to do that, especially if you're playing a linked a linked content game. Because this, because um, the seed satchel becomes, well, very, very important um, towards the end. It's also very important for speedrunning purposes. 
Because if you're speedrunning this game, you have to spam Pegasus seeds. And it's that much more convenient to do it when you have 50 seats to start with. I wonder how long a speedrun in this game would take. I'll have to look that up later. T uh, tool assisted or not? Non tool assisted. Non tool assisted. I mean, a, t a fucking tool assisted playthrough of any Zelda game, I imagine, would take more than no more than a couple minutes. Which is kind of stupid. Um. I don't think so, because, um, in this particular game, you, uh, uh, in this and in Ages, you actually do need, uh, you need to get, you need to beat all the dungeons in order to, you know, unlock, in order to actually unlock the item that enables you to, you know, uh, get to the final boss. Right. Because that's, that's a scripted event. If you don't activate the scripted event, you can't go to Onox. Right. Or Veron. Or Arvaran, yeah. In cold this, we will spin attack them. Take Ori, where, where, where? <laughs> oh come on, they're not Resident Evil cultists. They might as well be. They're zombies and they have swords. And that's the entire reason to go into this room to kill those uh, cultist zombies. There, one of these blocks has to move. No! None of those blocks move. Why didn't any of the blocks move? As such, that treasure chest is a fuck you, Ruby treasure chest. Here is your real objective. It was over here, silly. Uh-oh. How bullshit. badly do you think I'm gonna screw up this puzzle? I sense bullshit. Is that before or after Link's concussion? Uh, after. Holy shit, I didn't screw up the puzzle. Yay! I think you're a little ahead of me, but yay. Alright. There we go. I should solve that. Oh no, I'm locked in a dungeon with a mace swinger! And now he is this <laughs> so yeah, we're going up. Therefore, we're making progress. Behold the magical boomerang! Wow. Now we have to fall all the way back down. Help! <laughs> Statues! Honestly, uh, the stout, the stalfos are the stalf. Although these are not star stalfos, these are almost. These are almost. Yeah, the almost are not honestly all that big of a threat. You say that, and then you just got trapped by one. Yes, but you'll notice I only lost three hearts. These, these guys, these guys are just hilarious. <laughs> Remember, they are mechanical, as displayed in Minish Cap. <laughs> it's just that they're so, they're so dumb. They're just moving in random directions. <laughs> and now we must fall all the way back down. Oh yeah, because now we can solve that room that we left behind on the first floor. Mm -hmm. And we can't go back through that door. Uh-huh. Yay. Bye! Heart. Having the blue joy ring is awesome. It really it is, because it, make, it makes the enemy drops that much more valuable. And remember, it works on fairies. Yes, it does. Have you actually confirmed this? Nope. Oh. Fairies already fairies already recover a lot of health, so it's not it's not terribly helpful that the fairies also increase the health drop, but it's it's a nice touch nonetheless. So. The magic boomerang allows you to alter the, p the flight path of the boomerang af after and before you fire it. This means it is technically the most difficult item in the game to use. Kind of, yeah. It's especially difficult during the boss fight. Mm -hmm. I cannot use the magic boomerang during, uh, during this upcoming boss. I know that you have to in order to take him down, but I just... But I, hello, snakes. I just end up uh, hitting him a couple of times and then, like... 
Yeah, that that's pretty much all I can do with it. I smack I smack him around a bit until, you know, I can actually damage him with my swarm. So wait, you beat the boss without using the boomerang? No, not without using the boomerang, because you have to hit the you have to hit the, the fucking piranha pants with the uh, with the boomerang. But I am so terrible with the magical boomerang that it takes me forever to land the the, the land it. Ah. Yeah, not, not to mention that that boss, it's one of those bosses where the longer the fight lasts, the greater the chance that you're probably gonna die. Mm -hmm. so it's, it's very difficult to keep from getting damaged in that fight. We can't go over there. That is sad. Nope. We have to do a running puzzle. A very Indiana Jones-like escape sequence through a passage. Oh, there's a trampoline! We must have done the right thing! Unfortunately, we can't move that trampoline. Well, I, I think that's a good thing, so you won't waste your time trying to move it to any of a position that's not any more helpful than where it already is. But then why have the boom but then why have any of the boomerangs in the wrong position? So then you'll have to move it. You have to do things. Doing things is hard. Doing things is what Demon does. Are you sure? Or, it kinda looks like he's just falling into pits a lot. But that's doing something. No, it's not really. Do you have any idea how many people would kill to have a chance to fall into a pit in a video game? <laughs> Um, three. <laughs> I like this part. You get one ruby and then you have to run for your life because the walls are coming to crush you! Run! Run for your life! I fucking love this part! Run! No! <laughs> we made it! Yay. And this is the boss key. Oh, cool. But we haven't found the boss room yet. Oh, look, an elevator. Fuck you, Ruby. Treacherous this deceit. <laughs> Uh, don't worry, we're almost- we are almost to the end of this dungeon. Yes. We do not clear the dungeon in this part, oh no. No. Nope. That would be too simple for Demon. The boss fight will easily take more than two minutes, too. So. Actually, no, the boss- the, the padding- it's one of those- it's- it's a very reckless boss fight. You either die very quickly or you kill the boss very quickly. That's how it works. You say that, but um, I end, I end up usually just dying very quickly, and then the boss lives forever. The end. The small key. Why even bother having this particular this particular puzzle? Because trampolines. But this doesn't do anything new with the trampoline. Well, the trampoline all it does is let you bounce. It's the quiddity of the trampoline. Bounciness. Hello, Meyer. Vyer, whoever. Fuck you. Yes, it is Vyer. Yeah, remember this guy? You actually kill him this time. Because it's the linked content. Cocky mini boss. Oh, oh, now he's serious. Uh -huh, uh -huh, look out. And by which he means he will successfully dodge most of your attacks. I don't know if you can use the magical boomerang on this fight. Um... No, because if you get hit with a projectile, you lose control of the boomerang. You have to keep moving in order to avoid the projectiles. Fine, goodbye. Not really. Let me kill you, dammit. There. He has been bested it is. I impossible. Goodbye. Hello, trap room. I, lo I love that. You can actually... You don't even have to jump in order to avoid all those traps. You just have to keep walking forward.
And in the next part, we will continue on through the Ancient Ruins. And maybe finish it. We will probably finish the Ancient Ruins in the next part.